I hope everybody is having a great day. Courtney Adams here, and I wanted to hop on real quick to go over how I am doing my new in-home party style. I've got lots of questions about it, and I just thought this would be super easy to do real quick. So every month on the second or third Saturday of the month, I am hosting in my house up to five hostesses and their closest five to 10 friends, okay? So I'm just asking them to send out messages to basically their ride or die people. And I'm having them start the conversation about the party about two to three weeks out. And I'm just sending them simple and quick verbiage about the party when it is along with an image that I make each month on Pic Collage with the monthly special showcased as pictures for the image. Now with the customer special changing, that image will change up each month to focus on different solution sets that I think are super useful for the month and what's coming up during that catalog season. So for things like spring, I'm gonna focus on different solutions for spring activities like sports and the lake and travel and so on and so forth, okay? So I'm asking different people to host in my home and I am coming up with a list of people that I wanna reach out to and ask if they wanna be a hostess for the month. I let them know that it will be at my house the second or third Saturday for three hours. They will come and hang out. Their friends can come and go as they please. There's no formal party presentation and their friends can just simply show up when it's most convenient for them. They're welcome to bring a friend or even their children with them because my kiddos are there and they're just able to shop and get their hands on the items. I've got everything laid out. I also provide snacks for them. It's not a meal type of thing, it's snacks, along with drinks and the opportunity to just ask questions and I am present so that they can figure out what items will help them most and which things can be really useful for them, okay? So I'm telling my hostesses, you know, when exactly it is, um, how to come up with a list of names to invite. So I'm just telling them, come up with 15 friends that you would love to have in your own home. And let's focus on those top 10 friends. These are your tribe, your ride or die people. And I send them the picture that I've made along with verbiage. And I tell them to individually reach out via text message or Facebook messenger so that they can get with them and really kind of personalize each message. And then that's done about two weeks before the party. And then a week before the party, um, I'm sending them a reminder about the party and how it's going to work and what I expect of them as the hostess. And I tell them to send out follow-up messages. And then two days before the party, so like Thursday night, I'm sending them another message to follow up one more time with the people they have invited. Friday after lunch, I get a final head count from each hostess so that I have an idea as to how many people will be there. And then Friday afternoon, I just head to the grocery store and get some simple things to make for snacks. I've never spent about more than $20. And that's even if I've got 20 to 25 people showing up in my home. Most people really aren't coming for the snacks. They're coming to put their hands on things and to really get an idea for items and solution sets that they could use in their lives. And then just to also to see their hostess friend and to have some girl time. Um, I do encourage my hostesses to share an online link with those that aren't local. And so I'm telling them, you know, you've got, say you've got 10 friends locally that you want to invite. Think of 10 friends that aren't local that you would love to send this link to and let them know that they are your top online VIPs that you want to share this with. And I definitely encourage them to get online orders before the party. We then close their parties the night of the in-home party and they're able to get me their hostess rewards while they're at the party. There's no going back and forth, emailing, things like that. It's just super quick and simple. I love that it's at my home because everything is already there. I'm not having to transport, and I'm able to run five parties at once in my home instead of doing five in-home parties, leaving my house five times, which is just kind of unrealistic for me and my family this moment in time. It's been a lot of fun, and I have met some great new customers. I have been able to have some adult time and really connect with people, build relationships, and it's just a fun way to have an in-home gathering. And you could really translate this to look like anything for your current life, so whatever's easiest for you. But I hope that helps and gives you guys an idea of how to make this work for you. And like I said, I mean, I've got 
people that have said, hey, I can't come in February, but please invite me to March because I definitely want to be present and come. And as far as me goes, I make myself a hostess of the mystery hostess, so to speak. I'm not giving myself the rewards, but I make myself the hostess and I treat it like I'm hosting my own party. So I am also coming up with my own guest list, sending out my own invites and focusing on follow-up as well. So I am doing exactly what I'm telling my hostesses to do so that I'm also increasing chances of sales and people showing up and people sharing. And it also boosts the mystery hostess party. It also is just keeping me up to date with what is and isn't working so that when I tell my hostesses, I'm able to tell them accurately. So this is a really fun thing to do. I would love to see you guys do it. I think it's a lot of fun and it's a great way to connect and meet new people. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope that this helps. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great afternoon. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you like, comment, and share so that we can spread the word with fellow 31 sisters. Thanks guys. Y'all have a good one.